Hi, I'm Brian Juritza, and I'm Tyler Garlic, and we're riders of Team OMG Wagoners. Today, we're going to show you the basic techniques to ride a wagon properly. First thing we're going to look at is how to sit on a wagon properly. First thing you want to do is straddle it like so. You're going to have to have one hand on the pull handle. You're going to have one hand right on the wagon. This will, uh, this is obviously for steering, but putting your hand on the wagon will give you balance and stability for when you're turning. But we'll get into that later. Now, uh, depending on which hand you like better, you may find that using your right hand to steer is better. Just try both, see whatever works best for you. The second thing you want to do is make sure both feet are up in the wagon. Because if they're hanging off like this, that, that they can get caught, they can make you crash, or whatever. But more importantly, when they're up here, and you're going down a hill, you'll stay in this position. If your feet are hanging off, you're going to want to scoop up because of gravity. Now, if you're up here, that ain't good because you can't really steer very well. Now, another thing to consider is using a uh, cushion to put down on the wagon. Because when you're going really fast over a bumpy terrain or just over jumps, it really hurts slamming down hard. Another basic technique that is helpful in riding a wagon is weight distribution. Now the first thing that you want to know about weight distribution is where to sit. You want to sit directly over the rear axle like so, because if you're sitting back too far, you're going to fall backwards on the wagon, and that would be bad if you're moving at a high speed. If you sit up too far, basic skill you need to know is how to stop yourself. Now to do this, however you're going, you're going to just want to place both feet directly on the ground like this. And you want to place your whole foot on the ground. That way you can have, create as much friction against your foot in the ground as possible. Now if you just want to slow down, you're just going to want to apply a little bit of force. If you want to stop real fast, just place both feet down really hard. If you're going too fast, you don't want to just break hard all of a sudden because that'll make you crash. Another thing that's very important is keeping the knee bend at a 90 degree angle here. If you have them like this, your knee is right on the wagon and you're going to get bruised. I know from first hand experience. So you want to keep it at a 90 degree angle. But the most important thing to know about riding wagons is knowing your skill level and just going out there and having fun. <laughs> 